rooted in agriculture, folks in Custer County unearth history one sod brick at a time. Cut it, roll it, lift it. Should lift it back up. A sod house takes shape, something many have only seen through the lens of history. My grandfather had a picture of the my great-grandmother sitting in front of it. The photo isn't all Kevin Cooksley has to remember that 1879 Saudi. Once the roof goes up, it'll feature a ridge pole from that original home, a piece of wood that could have been scrapped, but this rancher is also history's caretaker. If you know Kevin, you know why he saved it. He knew a day would come he'd want it, and that time is now. Here you go. As dozens of volunteers meticulously recreate every detail. Yeah, we don't have enough to do. Laying the sod bricks, grass sign down, ensuring visitors will glimpse the craftsmanship. I have due appreciation for how hard it was to build a sod house. I, now I understand why they didn't live to be old men either. The Saudi joins the Red Barn that serves as a visitor center along Highway 2 in Broken Bow, a scenic byway through the Sand Hills. Custer County is famous for uh, uh, butchers' photographs of the sod houses, and uh, we thought for tourism and, and things like that that we should have a sod house. The ones they found were in rough condition, so they're building a new one with time-tested practices along with modern conveniences. Skid steers are really nice. The walls show off pioneer ingenuity, two feet thick with natural insulation. Mike Evans has gained new insight. It's amazing that they settled this country. Not only are they recreating history, they're paying tribute to photographer Solomon Butcher, who captured struggles on the plains. Definitely are standing on the shoulders of people who worked their tails off to live us, give us this legacy we have today. Volunteers dig deep to showcase the resiliency of those who settled the land brick by brick. Very humbling. I hope it'll be here long after I'm gone. NTV's Grow promises to bring you all the news and trends surrounding agriculture in Nebraska.